and I'm with Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock, also known as Hercules. And today we are going to eat like Hercules. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, yeah, no, nope. What is this gonna consist of, sir? It's gonna consist of uh, seven whole meals. Two steak meals. There's gonna be two fish meals, two uh, chicken meals. There's gonna be a protein drink. Uh. And here's the key, here's the key, lion blood. What is going on everyone? It's Cecile Suede. In this video, I'm gonna be attempting a day in the diet of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, truth be told that Dwayne Johnson ate the same exact diet that I'm about to show you guys in this video for six straight months leading up to his role for the movie Hercules. Now, check it out. This diet is gonna consist of nothing but wholesome and filling foods. Now, it's gonna consist of two meals with fish, uh, two meals with chicken, and two meals with steak, and then also a whole lot of white rice, potatoes, and vegetables, along with a protein shake for meal number seven. And uh, the crazy thing is, is based on my sources, The Rock uses absolutely no condiments. No, not this at all. It's crying out for some soy sauce. It's crying out to be put in your mouth. I'm gonna be forced to use nothing but salt and pepper to season my meals, so it's definitely gonna be super bland and tough, but that's the whole point of the challenge. And I quickly wanna shout out out BuzzFeed and Travis S and a whole bunch of other YouTube channels who popularized The Rock's cheat day calorie challenge and just day in the diets in general. But the crazy thing about this challenge as well, guys, is not just how hard it's gonna be to eat all this food, but it's also the fact that I have type one diabetes. So it's gonna be one heck of a challenge to make sure my blood sugars are constantly regulated and make sure I'm constantly managing my insulin dosages to make sure I don't, my blood sugar doesn't dip down or dip up. So it's gonna be one heck of a time and I really hope you guys enjoy this video and please be sure to give the video a like right now if you guys enjoy this kinds of video and want to see more days in the diets of celebrities. Now this video is for fun and pure entertainment because obviously it is not healthy for somebody to eat like this due to the insane fact that it consists of 514 grams of protein. So The Rock has got to have one heck of a strong toilet and uh, I feel bad for anybody in the vicinity of my behind today. But anyways, let's go ahead and step on the scale real quick to see what I'm weighing in at before the challenge begins. So I figured it would be really interesting to show you guys what I weigh right before this food challenge uh, just to show you guys how much weight I'm at at the very end of it when I have all that wholesome food in me so let's go ahead check out what I'm weighing in at 178.2 pounds now I do want to mention that I am 5'7 and I am very deep into a bulk uh, so I look nothing like Dwayne Johnson neither am I trying to compare myself with him because let's be real it's the rock but anyways let's go ahead hop in the kitchen make the first meal and uh, get to cooking All right, so we have got meal number one, which is The Rock's legendary breakfast. So what we have here is 10 ounces of filet mignon with four egg whites and five ounces of oatmeal. Now, this actually doesn't look that bad. It actually looks really good. I mean, it's like steak and eggs just without the yolks and uh, without any kind of oil or butter for the steak or any kind of condiments. All right, that actually sounds really horrible, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig into this, guys, and uh, just get straight to it. I want you guys to comment down below. How do you like your steaks? For me, a perfect steak is medium rare. Like if it is not medium rare, if it's not pink on the inside, I can't touch it. Yeah, let me know down below. I'm actually really curious to know. So the only issue right now with this meal is that it's super bland, guys. Like soy sauce, hot sauce. Come on, Dwayne, you couldn't just add a little bit of spice to your diet. Jimmy's hot sauce, yeah. soy sauce, no. No? No, not this at all. It's crying out for some soy sauce. It's crying out to be put in your mouth. <laughs> All 
right guys, so we got all of the protein down. Now it's time to go ahead and bite away at the carbs, which is the oatmeal. Now this I think is gonna be the hardest part ever because it is gonna be so freaking bland. There's no artificial sweetener. Um, I just threw in a little bit of salt and that's it. So yeah, it's not gonna be um, the most delicious thing out there. It's gonna be super filling. <laughs> All right guys, so meal number one just went down the hatch and it actually was not too bad, surprisingly. The only issue though was that I normally don't ever eat breakfast. I fast for the first few hours of my day. So uh, this was a little bit tough because I had absolutely no appetite, but definitely gave me a taste of uh, what the rest of the meals are gonna be like for the rest of the day. So we're just getting started. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. We're gonna keep it going. So we've got meal number two all ready to go. We have eight ounces of chicken breast. We have a cup of broccoli and two cups of white rice. So this meal, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared of because it's a typical bro meal. It is super, super bland. Again, there's no condiments. Like I would kill for some hot sauce right now, but you know what? We are going to just dig right into it. Oh my gosh, this is so bland. So quick note on this meal guys, I think the chicken meals are by far going to be the hardest ones to take down um, for this diet and um, I'm actually going to head to the gym now within the next 30 minutes after meal two and I also have uh, the calories listed on this meal on the screen as well along with the rest of the meals for the day. I think this was about like 850, 900 calories or so. So uh, we are moving strong, probably not going to be moving too well at the gym, but uh, we're going to do our best. I'll probably do some cardio just to kind of get myself sweating. Anyways, uh, time to get after it. Uh, there we have it meal number two down the hatch and uh, I'm feeling like the rock already Not really maybe like down over here, but not really up here I'm back from the gym and actually had an amazing workout. So I figured training two meals in would be the perfect time when going about this diet. Like if I would have went three or especially four meals in to go weight lift, there's no way I would have been able to train. I just would have been way too sluggish and full. Uh, but check it out. We have got our post-workout meal, which is meal number three. I'm feeling like the rock already, but now the rock usually eats halibut, but I couldn't find that anywhere. So I just went for tilapia. I figured it's essentially the same thing. So we got eight ounces of that then we have a cup of asparagus and two cups of white rice I am telling you guys this white rice is gonna be the death of me But anyways time to sit down and uh, get cracking at this meal <sighs> time to eat It, meal number three down the hatch so one major thing I've noticed about this diet is that I am constantly cooking and cleaning seriously like it is a full-time job it's absolutely ridiculous guys I don't see how anyone could do this every day for six months here's the thing I do get very disciplined and focused <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys, so it's been around an hour and a half since my last meal, and I'm already sitting down to meal number four right now, so check it out. We have got eight ounces of chicken breast, 12 ounces of baked potato, and a cup of broccoli. This meal is actually going to be 677 calories, 78 grams of carbs, eight grams of fat, and 69 grams of protein. Now, I've had an absolutely ridiculous amount of protein today already, but I still have 200 grams grams of protein to eat after this meal. <sighs> So since this is a fitness and lifestyle channel, I figured I'd throw in some helpful tips for you all rather than just having you watch me eat the whole time. But uh, something I have picked up from The Rock's crazy diet that he did for six months straight is the fact that there are absolutely no excuses for you not to be able to eat healthy as long as you prepare for it and as long as you're efficient. So what I mean by that is obviously you're not having seven huge meals in a day, but whether you're having two or three very healthy wholesome some meals just always be sure to meal prep and you know cook in bulk because obviously you are never going to stick to something like this or just in general a healthy diet again not seven meals but something like two or three wholesome healthy meals you're not gonna stick to that if you have to cook every single time for a meal so meal prep cook in bulk thank you Dwayne Johnson we're gonna make these gains all right guys, so meal number four is completely down except a little bit of these baked potatoes. I just can't do it. It is so, so dry. It is way too bland. I just can't, I can't, so I don't know. I'm gonna call it a victory. Maybe I'll just include this in the meal, the next meal that has like baked potato in it and then we'll really make it official, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna go chill out for a little bit and then, I mean, I literally already have to get to the next meal because this is literally a job. <laughs> All right, so we have got meal number five all prepped up and ready to go, which is the second fish meal in the Rocks diet. The fish meals have actually been the easiest to take down just because I guess they're a lot lighter and they're not as like dense and chewy as the steak and chicken meals. We got eight ounces of tilapia, half a cup of white rice, and a cup of asparagus. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and dig in and I'm gonna eat this as fast as possible. Yes, by the way, I'm just gonna eat this standing up like this. I'm gonna get one more. There you have it, meal number five, down the hatch. I think that was like record-breaking time. Comment down below, what do you think of uh, how fast I've been eating these? I really think I've been doing a pretty good job. But um, also, be sure to follow my Instagram, guys, at Asil Suede, if you wanna know what my actual diet looks like on a daily basis. I'm not crushing seven whole meals of 5,000 calories like The Rock, but be sure to follow me and see what I'm up to. Oh, sitting down to the last and final big whole meal of the day. Well, we still have meal number seven after this, but that's just a shake and some egg whites. But uh, here's what we're working with for meal number six. We have eight ounces of filet mignon and uh, nine ounces of baked potato, plus the last little bit of baked potato that I left um, earlier today. We're gonna do it, guys. I told you, we are not back now. Also, we have a salad. Um, that's what the diet plan calls for, a salad. And also, we have absolutely no condiments on it because when The Rock says no condiments, he means no condiments. So, whew, let's do it guys. We are in the final stretch here. Wow, honestly, I feel like meal seven is gonna be super hard even though it's a lot smaller than this, just because I'm gonna be so damn full, but you know what? We're gonna make it, we're all gonna make it. Oh, I just can't get over these potatoes, guys. These baked potatoes. I don't know how he does this. Like, you just need something on these. You just, you just need it. All right, it's time to weigh myself, see what I'm weighing in at. I feel absolutely disgusting, literally like a bloated whale right now. <laughs> so, let's go ahead, see what it is. 182.8, wow, holy crap. I'm actually shocked right now, guys. That's honestly just a few pounds above what I started as. That's 
really crazy. I mean, typically I eat 3,500 to 3,800 calories a day on a normal day of eating. So 5,000 calories is not like really, really far off. Honestly, maybe it's due to like not having that much sodium at all in the diet. And uh, you know, the simple basic meals, again, like limiting the salt content. I actually practice flexible dieting approach. So like, you know, not all of my meals are whole and like clean just because it would be super tough for me to do that guys every single day because I, again, I am very deep into a bowl. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm looking like and um, Whew, I'm full. Let's go ahead smash meal number seven and end the video. Uh, all right guys So I'm gonna call it at this I mean, There are literally scraps left of the potato and the steak and then this salad It's honestly just gonna make me throw up everywhere if I have one more bite We're gonna call it at that. I did my absolute best. I think it's actually a good job pretty much close to being finished So we are gonna eliminate the word protein farts and create a new movement called protein sweats because when you have reached a whole new level of high protein intake, that's exactly what you're gonna get. So just when you thought that you are not gonna get any more protein in this diet, you get slapped with this. You get slapped with 10 egg whites and a protein shake for meal number seven. So what we're gonna do, honestly, is just literally scarf it down, guys. Just scarf down as much as possible. Honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to finish it, but you know what, we're gonna do our best. Oh, yeah, no, nope, nope, mm-mm. Can't do the 10 egg whites right now. And um, let's try the protein shake. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't that bad guys. Yeah, it is currently 2:24 in the morning guys So if I would have started or if I would have woke up early started this challenge a lot earlier I definitely could have finished it by like 11 maybe midnight, but still guys one heck of a challenge I mean Dwayne Johnson. I don't know how he did this for six months straight, but I mean let's be real here He is a 6'5 260 pound monster preparing for a massive movie role that does not relate to any of our lifestyles Or I could guarantee it doesn't relate to 99.9% .9 of us guys so this is definitely a bit extreme but check it out the total macros for the day is going to consist of 514 grams of protein 439 grams of carbs and 125 grams of fat totaling at 5077 calories that is absolutely crazy nothing but clean whole meals the rock you are a savage i respect you and that you continue to shock all of us but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give this video a like if you want to see more celebrity date in the diet videos if you guys really enjoyed this i'll be sure to pump those out and be sure to click that first link in the description box down below if you want my one-on-one -on -one personalized help for your own personal fitness goals and of course be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new and hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you are uh, staying in tune with all of my youtube uploads guys be sure to follow me on instagram as well at a seal suede and say what's up slide into my dms and uh, we'll chat it up anyways thanks for watching i'll See you all in the next video, guys.